Good afternoon, class. Uh, today's Excel exercise is going to uh, walk you through, uh, number one, estimating or trying to um, analyze the most proper tilt for the solar thermal array. And you'll be generating a graph here so you can um, see the differences between the three different angles at this, uh, at this latitude and make some assumptions and predictions about how it might function. And you are also going to create a table and your table is going to um, take whatever angle it is that you want to use and um, move all the way down through until you get to the end where we can estimate uh, the number of gallons of water that you can heat per day with the solar thermal system um, on any given month. And also some equivalencies here in terms of the fuel oil so that we can make some um, estimations as to emissions offsets and how much money we might save over time. So this is my file. You don't get this. I'm going to give you a student file. It'll look a little bit more like this. I'll give you a little bit. Um, actually, I'm going to take these numbers out of it as well. Uh, so let's go back to the raw data. And this is the, this is the same data we've been using for the solar garage um, and rail. 30-year um, average solar radiation data for Concord, New Hampshire. And um, this radiation data uh, has um, um, the energy um, values, kilowatt hours per meter squared per day for the various angles. Zero, which is vertical, latitude minus 15. Actually, I'm sorry, zero is uh, horizontal. Latitude minus 15, which is 43 is our latitude, so 43 minus 15 is another 28. Um, our latitude, which is 43, and then latitude plus 15, which is about 58, and then 90, which is uh, vertical. We're primarily interested in columns D, E, and F, and I'll provide this for you. Um, you'll have columns D, E, and F. They're uh, highlighted in gray, and I've, um, I've gone ahead and averaged those numbers. And, so um, I'll give you this, um, and then you need to uh, reference the data uh, into your table, simply clicking on your cell. You can see that it's referencing the data, and just to remind you, I'll delete this, show you to reference the previous cell. You hit the equal sign, navigate back to the data tab, and then click on the cell. Be careful not to click around. If you click around too much, you'll get messy data. Hit enter, and you're referencing. So, Go ahead and enter all of your values in here. Um, this is column um, D, E, and F, respectively, uh, for your various tilts. And then you're going to create a line graph. If you select all of the data, including the month and the angle, and we go into charts and do a 2D line chart, we'll get something that looks a little bit like this. Okay. Um, this chart shows you the um, numbers along the left-hand side. And keep in mind, that these numbers do not have any values associated with them. So they're pretty much useless until I, uh, I do something with them. And then the months across the bottom, that makes sense. Um, and then the angles over here, latitude minus 15, latitude and latitude plus 15. Those are still a little bit ambiguous. You might um, actually, you need to go in and define these uh, probably 28 degrees. 43 degrees and 58 degrees. I'm going to show you a little trick here just to remind you this is what you're wanting to get to, something that looks maybe a little bit more like this. All right. Um, in fact, I need to change my values over here as well. But you can see how my um, graph over here looks a little bit different than the, um, the graph that you've created. And I'll show you a trick here back to the student file. If you want to increase the um, sort of the the, uh, the differences between these three different lines, I'm going to click on this series, right click, and go to Format um, Axis, and then I am going to uh, horizontal crosses at here, and I am going to two. And you can see that um, that brings that up. Actually, I'm sorry, let's change one more here. I'm going to 
access options. And sorry, this is a different um, format that I'm used to. Oh, cancel all that. I think I need to go in here and go to format major grid lines. No. All right, I'm going to stop this video.